Oh Lord, state management. If you want to reach any kind of scalability in your React web applications, chances are you're probably gonna have to find one way or another to deal with it. Here's the way most people go about handling their state. And then I'm gonna show you an approach that is much cleaner. If you want to pass properties to all children without doing excessive prop drilling in React, this is the way you usually do it, with context, where you define a normal React state that you can then pass into a provider. And the important thing is this provider needs to wrap the entirety of all components that you want to use this state in. In this example from the official React documentation, you can see as the value we are passing in the current value of the state, not the setter. So with this example, we actually do not have the possibility to modify the state in any of the components that we would like to. And then there's the way to subscribe to that context. Now we provided it to all the components in our app. How do we actually use it? And for that, we can call the use context hook and pass the context text inside of here. Now this approach is not bad, but as you can tell from the code involved, it's convoluted and there are definitely approaches where we can do this in a way cleaner fashion. And by far my favorite way to do this at the moment is with Zustand. It makes state management so enjoyable. Check this out. We're importing create from Zustand and then we can define the type of the state that we want. For example, let's have an is loading and a set is loading to mirror just a very standard use case for our React applications, just as we have with a loading state. After defining the type of this, we can also export a use generation store. And that is the big difference. Our store is nothing else than a regular React hook. And that fact allows us to not have to wrap our entire app in a context provider. Instead, we can invoke the hook wherever we want across our entire application without having to provide any kind of context. We can invoke the create function that is curried and then pass something along the lines of a callback function where we get a setter that we can then use to update our state. Now, because we're in TypeScript, we also want to define the type as a generic into the create function. And as you can see right now, there's no error. And if I insert that, there is an error because now TypeScript works and we can see the values inside of our store that TypeScript expects us to have. For example, that's gonna be the is loading property and we need to match the type up here that we defined. So the second one is gonna be a set is loading. And take a look at this. This is a really clean setter syntax, arguably more so than with normal React state. So where Ever, across our entire app, we want to update the loading state, we can destructure the set is loading from this custom hook, that's all it does, and then pass it a new loading state that is then immediately being set as the actual state and in turn updating your UI to reflect those changes. Check out this actual use case I'm having in my app. We can just destructure the set is loading state from our hook without any context providers involved whatsoever, and then either inside of a try catch finally block or with React query, the latter I'm using in this app, Whenever our call is done, whether it's successful or not to a certain API route, in that case, we can just set the loading state as if we were using regular plain React state. And then check out how we are subscribing to that state. Again, I've highlighted the important line, don't worry too much about the rest. We can just destructure the const is loading, and we could also, in theory, destructure the set is loading if we wanted to set it in this component, but this is a read-only component, so we can just destructure the is loading from our use generation store with Zustand. And that's it. That's all the steps involved to properly manage state using Zustand. This is it and it's really, really easy. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe or anything, but I'm happy for you that you learned something new. And there's a video on the screen here somewhere on my favorite way to fetch data and react. It's really good. Handling data fetching like that is a supreme way. So check it out and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Have a good one and peace.